If your multifunction printer or copier, referred to as an MFP in this publication, is no longer scanning to email, it could be related to a recent security change made by Google on May 31, 2022, as they have retired the use of a feature called Less Secure Apps. In order to make Google and G Suite accounts more secure, Google now requires two-step authentication to be enabled on the account that your MFP signs in with when scanning and sending documents to you. It's important to understand how scan to email works before making these changes. Your MFP is like an employee, meaning that it has its own email account and password, just like we have our own. When you scan a document on your MFP, the MFP digitizes it as an attachment, usually as a PDF or JPEG, then the MFP signs into an email account using a protocol called SMTP. Then it attaches that to a document and sends it to your selected email address. In some cases, the account that the MFP uses may be your own email account. Whichever the case, your MFP needs some new details. And also, the email account that the MFP uses needs a couple of security changes made. In order to resolve this issue, you will need to sign in to the Gmail or G Suite account that the copier is using. To find out what email account the MFP uses, simply check a recent email that you last received from your MFP and look at the address that it came from. Next, you will need to sign into that account. Head over to gmail.com and input your copier's email and password. If you are unsuccessful at signing in or resetting the password for this account, your options now are to create a new Gmail account for your MFP to use, or try to contact your IT department or whoever manages your company's email accounts to see if they can resolve the issue for you with that particular account. Once you're signed into the account, you will need to select the little nine dot square shaped menu button, then select account, select security, select two-step verification, and follow the process to get started with verifying your phone number. It's best to provide a cell phone number since text messaging works best for two-step authentication for these types of scenarios. Once two-step is verified and enabled, you will now be able to generate an app password. Now go back to security, select app passwords, Log in if prompted, then choose Mail from the drop-down, Other, give it a name such as MFP Scanner, Copier, it really doesn't matter what you input here, just a custom name. Google will now generate a 16-digit code. This app password does not replace the main account password for the account. Now you will need to share this app password with your MFP so that it can scan again. It is recommended that you copy this app password onto a notepad or document save it to your computer or cloud, even print the document for your records. That's because Google will not show this particular code again. So if you have intentions on using this code with other applications or other multifunction printers on your network, you'll want to definitely have a record of it, especially if your copier is ever replaced. But don't worry, as long as you know the main account password, you'll be able to sign in and generate another new secure app password anytime that's needed. Another thing to note, if you ever have to reset the password again, the main account password that is, it will clear out all of your app passwords that you've generated, so you'll have to go in and recreate and re-input those app passwords into all of your multifunction printers. Now using your web browser, navigate to your MFP's IP address. This will take you to your MFP's web interface. If you do not know your MFP's IP address, pause this video and review one of our driver installation videos linked below on our YouTube channel for your particular MFP brand. Each of those videos demonstrate how to locate your MFP IP address. Lexmark devices usually do not require an admin login to access SMTP settings. Canon and Konica Minolta devices will. For Canon devices, the system manager ID code is usually 7654321 with a system manager PIN of the same number, 7654321. If a username is required instead of a system manager ID, that username should be administrator with a capital A, with a password of 7654321. For Konica Minolta devices, most administrator passwords will be 12345678, twice. So that's 12345678, 12345678 for a total of 16 digits. There are a few devices in the field that only use 1 through 8 a single time, but this is less common.
It is possible that one of these default passwords will not work. That is because someone may have changed it previously. If this is the case, please give us a call to discuss what alternative passwords might be used, and if necessary, we have options that include sending a technician on site to reset the password back to its default so that you can get access to your machine again. Copy the secure app password that Google generated for you and paste it into your SMTP settings field and save. For Lexmark, the SMTP settings are usually found under Email and then SMTP Setup. SMTP settings for Canon are found under Settings slash Registration, Function Settings, Send, Network Settings for Email IFAX. Ignore the settings that we have here. Just simply paste in your new password and click OK. SMTP settings for Konica Minolta will be found under Network, Email TX, SMTP. On Iconica Minolta, you may need to click Password is Changed and then save the setting. It's best to go ahead and restart your MFP to make sure these settings are applied. Scanning to email should resume. If your MFP requires further SMTP troubleshooting, please notify your company's IT. We also have IT assistance solutions available at Datamax, including Connect Care support. If you would like to discuss the options available by Datamax, please call the phone number listed on your equipment tag. We hope that this video helped you resolve the recent Google change issues, and we hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching.